Look at this wonderful Foxian woman. You cannot tell me that she's not perfect in some way, shape, or form. And of course, I'm shrimping because I, I'm i literally waiting for later today. As this as this video goes up, Beijiao is releasing later today, which means we got to ask the question, should you simp? I'm, I'm going to call the, yeah, that's what I'm going to call these from now on. I'm going to say, should you simp instead of should you summon? Because that's basically what it boils down to. So before we get into that, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and check out Gamer Subs right, right there. I almost check out Gamer Subs, please. Um, but yeah, so I'm finally back. First off, uh, you might have not noticed because I was still releasing videos, um, but I was gone for a little bit over to uh, Wisconsin to watch my one of my best friends, the anime athlete, get married. It was fantastic. It was a wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, Lots of awesome memories, that's for sure. Uh, and then uh, next week we go to TwitchCon, so I'm pretty soaked on that. So I'm gonna try my best to make sure that we have videos ready for you next week, but most likely this week is going to be busy and then next week is gonna be like, meh, you know? But anyways, enough with that. And also sorry if it seems like there might be a little bit of cat hair on me. I had to be a good cat dad. I had to go say hi to my, I gotta go say hi to my fur babies, you know what I mean? But let's go ahead and dive in first to the four stars of these banners now first things first let's talk about asta because i feel like we talk about asta a lot she is a, de a a decently good four star right still very usable in today's economy in my personal opinion uh if you look at like the stuff that she's able to do her her ultimate is the main thing is like you get that speed increase of 57 for two turns which is you know all great She's definitely getting outclassed by other Harmony units, namely, you know, five stars and then other four stars. I will still say even Ting Yoon, my girl, my other Foxing girl. How you doing, girl? You know, the other Foxing girl with Ting Yoon is a lot better as the four star Harmony unit. Hell, uh, there's even Hanya as well. So not only that, but Asta's free. So it's like pulling her on the banner. Like if you're, if you're going for the constellations, it makes sense, right? But outside of that if you're going for just a harmony unit there's a five star harmony unit coming out that's basically a, a, a must get and we'll talk about her in a little bit but if you're summoning for asta either you are shrimping hard for asta or you're new to the game and if you're new to the game please look at this video and let me tell you there are plenty of other harmony users to get especially since you're getting asta for free so there's no need for you to go for asta okay Let's go ahead and talk about Luca. And Luca's gonna have kind of the same thing going on uh, as Asta. Luca's great. You know, I believe uh, we're getting a free Luca in this next update, if I remember correctly. I could be absolutely wrong. But if we if we aren't, we've gotten a free Luca before. If you're a brand new player and you haven't pulled Luca, then yeah, I would definitely say he's worth it. Uh, he's 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 kind of fun. I will say that he's kind of fun. His animations are really nice. Uh, he's got what is it? Bleed. For his whole thing, his whole kit. He's got that direct punch to get that bleed though. But he's he's still not one of the best Nihility units out there. It's pretty crazy because like it's kind of the opposite situation as Asta. Asta is a good harmony unit, but is outclassed by the newer harmony units. And Luca is a really good Nihility unit, but he's newer and outclassed by older units like Pella. You know, so it's not to say that he isn't good. He definitely has his, uh, he has his uses. And I think that if you pull him, it's pretty dang good, especially for a Nihility team for like Akron and stuff. Um, but otherwise, like there's two other Nihility units that we're going to be talking about that are five stars that are pretty worth your, pretty worth your buck for many reasons. Um, but if you're looking for a four star Nihility unit, he's definitely not bad, especially if you don't have something like a Gwenyphon or something like that. Right. Let's talk about Moe's. I mean, Moe's is cool. <laughs> like, I really don't think Moe's kit is that good. Or Moza. I'm sorry. Moza. I don't need the uh, comments going off on me saying, you didn't pronounce his name right. It's Moza. Um, but Moza's all right. Like, he definitely has some capabilities. Uh, he's mainly a lightning damage single target DPS. Uh, d deals with follow-up attacks, which is good. He's good with units such as, like, Robin and all that to help him with those attacks and getting those off. 
Um, but there's so many hunt units that like, especially since like most of us got the free Dr. Ratio. So like getting Dr. Ratio for free and then you see Moza and you're like, eh, whatever. We got so many Topaz reruns already. It's like, yeah, you know. But well, Moza's all right. I think that if you're looking for a new single target DPS and you're brand new to the game and you're still using like Don Hung, then getting Moza is dope. I'm going to get Moza. I don't know if I'm going to build him right away. That's just me, all right? Speaking of hunt units, right? There's another hunt unit that we're going to be talking about. And we already kind of showed her off. Like, I mean, I'm just saying we have her coming up. But let's go ahead and first talk about Kafka. Now... The reason why I'm bringing up Kafka is because we do have three reruns happening this one. And this is the first of the three. Kafka's hot. <laughs> like, that's all I can say. God, like, Kafka, like, Kafka walked so that Jane Doe could run. Let's just be honest about that. Like, Kafka is just like, oh, my Lance, brother. Um, but yeah, Kafka's still really, really good with Nihility teams. Like, especially if you are pairing her with an Akron. Like, her Black Swan Akron is still a really decent Nihility team. Especially if you've got a good healer like a Luocha or a Huo Huo at the end. Or even a preservation unit like Fu Shuan or maybe even... Uh, um, um, why am I... Why am I... I've been losing out on this guy's name so much. Adventuring. Adventuring. I don't know why I keep on messing up his name. But... There's so many good pairings to put with Kafka in a Nihility team. And even if, like, not straight up Nihility, you can put her as her own team and she does fine. Like, she's definitely not, like, meta in that sense. But she's good as a Nihility support to Akron. Uh, speaking of good Nihility support, uh, Black Swan. When I say support, by the way, I'm not saying it as, like, they heal or, like, do all that stuff. But they help out with Akron's abilities, right? Black Swan is, like, her girlfriend, right? We already know this. They're like you know all that good stuff i'm childish don't mind me um but black swan is really good still like her abilities in general being able to like put those stacks of uh debuffs on an opponent or an enemy and then just fire them all off as part of the turn is just really fun i like using black swan um and again she's really good on those akron teams if you didn't get Cho and like you don't have black swan and kafka it's like, it's kind of like, boom, there's your Akron team if you already have Akron or you're going for Akron. But yeah, Black Swan is absolutely bonkers. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about one of the more broken units on this is Robin, okay? Robin is so good. And one thing I, I want to get out there, right? Like, she's got awesome music. So if you haven't done so already, check out Spotify. I think it's on Apple iTunes as well. They do release the music for Robin as like her own singles and it's freaking amazing. Uh, I'm shrimping for her and that's fine. Like she's my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, but no, she's got really, really good support. Like if you look at the uh, uh, Pinion's Air Aria, I think is how the, how you say it. Uh, increases damage dealt by all party members by 62.5% for three turns and this duration decreases by one at the start of Robin's every turn. So three turns is insane because in three turns, you can get your ultimate, which is this right here, which by the way, if you don't know about the music already, Robin, when she goes into her ultimate, if you have the music up, she sings her song like, welcome to my world, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, Robin enters, or let's just do the, the easy one because I don't feel like reading that much. Uh, Robin's concerto enables teammates by um, to immediately take action. So they get right up there in action. Increased attack for all party members after the party member or party targets attacks additional additionally deals physical supplemental damage when concerto lasts this unit is immune to crowd control debuffs and won't take turn or action so robin's taken off the field but she's like here everybody just go that's why she partners so well with you know the hunt units or just any damage dealing unit in general um so she's going to be a really good partner for our next person Fei Zhao. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to I have to gain some composure really quick. I gotta I gotta I gotta thirst a little bit. Hold on. A good gamer subs break, you know. Whew. Uh good gamer subs break. Use code Tyson for 10% off. We got some cool stuff happening this week. I can't tell you just yet what it is. I'm gonna tell you right now, you better be paying attention. Alright. Let's talk about Fei Zhao. Fei Zhao is bonkers as a single target DBS, right? 
We got the skill deals wind damage equal to 250% of Phase Zhao's attack to a single target enemy, then immediately launches one extra instance of Talent's follow up attack. Uh, her ultimate during the ultimate can ignore weakness type to reduce enemy toughness. When the target is not weakness broken, Phase Zhao's weakness break efficiency increases, launches Bolt Sunder Blitz and War Axe Sky Straight at a single target enemy uh, three times, deals wind damage at the end. So basically, what she's doing is like, if you use the axe you're going for i think it's just already weakness broken if you're going for the bolt sunder you're trying to break the weak i think it's one of the two i can't remember but basically one goes after enemy uh toughness and one just goes after just dealing health so if you look and you see that your enemy still has toughness on them break it but oh my god she basically operates like akron but as a single target DPS. And I'm loving the fact that we're getting more units like this. This is insane. And I've already seen some stuff that's coming up. I'm pretty excited for that, but I'm not gonna go into that because I don't wanna get in trouble. But ultimately we asked the question, should you summon for any of these units? Honestly, this is the best time to summon. If you're looking for Nihility units, two of the best ones being Kafka and Black Swan are right there. Uh, especially if you if you have an Akron or you're going for an Akron, these two are great, especially if you didn't go for Zhao Cho either. If you need a great support or one of the best supports in the game, Robin is literally broken as a support. She is so good. She she carries teams, guys. I'm just telling you. And if you need one of the best single target DPSs in the game now, phase out. 100%. I think you should summon on them. Who should you summon for? It depends on your account. What are you going for? Are you going for an Akron team? Then you have two picks right there. I would say go for Black Swan over Kafka because Black Swan operates a little bit better with Akron. Are you needing a great support? Then Robin is your go-to. Are you needing that single target DPS on your team? Then you need Phase Out. You really need to take into account what your account already has and what you're able to do. I strongly tell people this all the time as well. Like, because a lot of people ask me questions in private and I'm like, guys, Look at your account and see what you need. Because I could I could sit here and say all four of these are must summons, but your account might already have like counter picks for these. And you're like, you know what? I really don't need them. But ultimately you need to look at your account and be able to say, do I need a single target DPS? Do I need the most broken uh, support in the game? Do I need those Nihility units? But overall, I would say if you're going to summon for any of the four, I would definitely say Robin. Robin is a definite must summon out of all four of these if you do not have Robin yet. But if you already have Robin or you have decent support characters for the Harmony, then Fei Zhao is definitely a must, followed by Black Swan and Kafka. And that's going to be it, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out, you know, Gamer... Ga I always mess that up. Gamer subs. Use good types for 10% off. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Glad to be back. Love you all to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.